What is up, guys? I've got a box of nickels right here. We're going to go ahead and open this up and see if we have any enders. This is just going to be me today. Let's see what we got here. All right. Ooh, is that? It is. I got a silver nickel ender right there. Holy cow. And that one's dark, too, right there next to it. That is an ender, guys. Holy cow. Hope you guys can see that. There you go. Oh, look at that. Ender right off the bat. That's amazing. I don't know if this one is. It very well could be, guys. Could you imagine? I don't know, though. But look at that. It's a dark one. Uh, we will flip these over. Could you imagine if we have a bunch of... That would be so awesome. Let me go ahead and tear this off. And we'll flip these over and see if we have anything else. That's amazing. I got to get a photo of that. So let me flip these over. All right. Whoa. There we go. My table moved on me. There we go. All right. Let's see if we have anything. I do don't see any enders on that side. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Oh, yeah, you can see that. All right. So I'll save the ender for last. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, that is awesome. I, at least I know I've got silver in the box. All right. First roll. Amazing. I love it. That's the fun about this, guys, is every roll can be a treasure hunt every box is a treasure hunt these all look fairly new not seeing anything i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this i don't want the the video to get too crazy i don't want it to get too, too long i can always go back through these what a way to start that one's got a dark line through it don't see anything now I will take a buffalo, please. We've had really good luck lately with silver and buffaloes. So, never know. I had three buffaloes in a box. We had two buffaloes in a box. So, you just never know what's going to happen. All right, next roll. But no matter what, we got silver. Hope you guys are finding some cool stuff. If you uh, have found something awesome, put it in the comments. Let us know what you're finding. I saw uh, one person had a V-nickel uh, ender, which was pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. That would be something really fun. I would have uh, would have gone crazy had I got a V-nickel ender. What is that? Uh... So far, the best is a 64. Nothing crazy yet. I can't wait to show off that, that nickel. Alright, next roll. So far, nothing old besides that silver. Oop, I might have spoke too soon. And... I think it's a 59... Oh, that might be a 39, guys. Let's see. Let's put it under this under this, and see. That is a 1939. Oh, it's got a ring of death on it. Look at that. It's got a ring of death. Let's flip it over and see if it's got the double. Uh, let's see if it's meant. Uh, it is a Philly. So, we need to look at Monticello. Uh, it does not look like it's doubled, but that is a 1939. I'll just leave it in there. That's awesome. I haven't had a 39 in a while. I'll take it. I wish it didn't have that that uh, ring of death on it, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. So we're, we're finding some good stuff. Now if we can just get below 39, 38, get down into those buffalo years, that would be great. I will take a buffalo, please. 64. 
Come on, Buffalo. Alright, next. Hmm. We just went to a movie today. Whoa, that one flew out of there. I don't know what it was. I'll have to find it after afterwards. I don't think it was anything cool. Never know. We we hit, we did a couple things today. We went out for dinner at a little uh, pizza place. Um, and there's a little machine you put money into. You can put change in it and stuff. And I and I looked down in the change return and there was a whole bunch of change, like literally a dollar's worth of change, just sitting in there. You never know where you're gonna find your next good coin. I didn't. Ha there wasn't anything old, but you just never know when it could happen. There's a dark one right there. Oh, let's look at that other. I wonder if I. Oh wait. Mm. Can't see the date on it. No, it's an '86. That, that one kind of freaked me out. I wanted to grab that other roll to see if it was a see if it was a silver. And now I don't remember where it was. Shoot. I think it was one of these. We'll have to look for it again. See if it was silver. I should have done that. Alright. That'd be cool to have two silver enders. That would be a first. For me, I, I think. Two silver enders would be pretty awesome. Alright, 89. Let's see. Oh, it's this one. Alright, what do you guys think? Is that gonna be silver? I don't know. It could it could go either way, I think. That would be insane if that's silver. Let's find out. Are you going to be silver? All right, let's see. It is not silver. Wait. Oh man, I thought it said 1943. I think it says 1948. But doesn't that look like a 43? I think it's a 48. Let's double check. Yeah, I don't see anything on the back side. But wow, that... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. I can't tell. It's so dirty. No, I think it's a 48. All right, we'll leave it under there. I think that, yeah, it's a 48. Darn. I really thought we had a another silver. There's another dark one right there. But it's an oldie. Take it. I will take it. That could have been cool. What is that? 64. There's a buffalo. Any spearing? No spearing. All right. Man, that could have been cool. You know what? I might open I might open that ender up now just for something different. That one's different looking. I wonder if that's anything. Can't tell. But you know what? Maybe we'll open up our our ender now. We'll mess everybody up. Everyone's gonna go to the end of the the video looking for the ender. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, we're going to open up the Ender. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait. It is an Ender. It is a San Francisco, which is pretty awesome. I'll put it under the camera for you guys here in just a second. Come on, let there be a friend. How cool would that be? Give me a friend. All right, there it is right there. And it is... A 1945, put that under the camera. There you go, 1945. That is a wartime nickel, 35% silver. The way you can tell, on the backside, that gigantic letter S, 
just above the dome of Monticello. So if there's a P, a D, or an S up above that dome like that in big, bold letters, you've got silver, guys. So you definitely want to keep your eyes open for that. Uh, they can come in the years 42, 43, 44, and 45. So it's not going to be silver unless it has that, that capital letter up above. That's awesome. Silver number one. Will we get any more? I don't know, but I'm already I'm already happy because my I'll be honest, guys. My last box that I did not even show the video because it was that bad. I got a few common ones, but other than that, it was horrible. Really, really bad box. And uh, I just didn't even have the heart of putting that video up. It, I just felt like. It wasn't that great, so I, I probably could have made it a video, but it wouldn't have been that exciting. All right, we've got silver. Can we get something else, please? I'll take a buffalo. Heck, I'll, I'll take a foreign. We haven't had a foreign yet. Haven't had our... Uh, Canadian nickel yet. It always seems like you find a Canadian nickel in a box. We're not even that close to Canada. And we still find quite a few. We'll probably find one. Let's see. Oh, is that what is that? That looks old right there. That's gonna be old. Don't know what it is yet. Can't see the date. But I guarantee you that one will be old. Let's see. It is a 1946. I knew it was going to be old. It just had a look. There you go. 1946. Let's show the backside. It's a Denver 46D. All right. Moving on. Still got a few rows here. Still got about half half the box at least a little more than half oh that could be could be something nope just a dirty nickel just a dirty old nickel we found a couple proofs out of the last couple boxes all sorts of oh look at that we got just like that we have a foreign right there dollar it's a one peso coin Let's go ahead and show that one peso right there. That's awesome. I love that design too. It's a really cool design. I love the backside of that. I'll leave that one up there just like that. The eagle and the snake. Whoops. Oh, this one's kind of broken. All right. Let's see. Maybe it's good luck. I always feel like it's something good trying to bust out of the roll. And hopefully... Hopefully it was a buffalo. Well, there's a buffalo, but it's not the one I'm looking for. It's the newer buffalo. But we should check it for spearing. No spearing. And the spearing is actually a die gouge uh, variety that you can look for. It's worth some big bucks if you can find it. it. Goes from the middle of the hump all the way, ouch, all the way down through the buffalo and out the uh, bottom. So if you can find that variety, it, it is worth uh, probably a few hundred bucks and higher if it's in good shape. There's a 2018. You want to check those for die rotation. There is a couple of known die rotation 2018s out there people have found. That there again, that could be worth you know upwards of you know a hundred dollars if you can find one in decent shape. Man, so far, not much in this box besides that silver. Okay. Come on, I'd like to get a buffalo. That'd be so awesome. I just love the feeling I get when I find one. And, and, and one with a date, <laughs> please. 
It's got to have a date. All right, that one's pretty yucky. All right. I need to speed up just a little bit or else this video is going to be ridiculously long. Which I guess isn't too bad to have a, a long video once in a while. Gives people a chance to talk if I make it a premiere video. And I probably will. For all of our YouTubers that are missing out on our, our uh, live streams right now. But good news, guys. We'll be coming back to YouTube in just a few days, I think. It's very, very, very close. Should be back there any moment now. Nothing there. Come on, give me one more silver. Give me one more good coin, at least. That'd be great. I'll take a 1950D. Key date would be awesome. Haven't found one of those in a long time. Okay. Those are so hard to find. I have one in there that kind of looked proof-like. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Had a dark one right there. 1961. But it is not silver. Uh, what is this? 1952. I'll take it. 1952. Pretty good shape. Let's see. It is a Philadelphia. Philadelphia. All right. So, so far we've got six finds out of this box. That's kind of low. Usually, good box you'll find, I'd say, a, I bet average somewhere around 15 to 20, I would bet, at least. And I guess we're just now hitting the halfway point, so... We should be okay, I think. But that ender was awesome. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to take a photo of the ender. Oh, man. I can't believe I did that. That's okay. You guys saw me open the box. All right. Come on. What's that? 66. Come on, Buffalo. I need a Buffalo, please. I gotta speed up a little bit. My camera is running out of battery life. I don't wanna miss out on the last roll. And I probably will not do a wrap up, guys. I'm probably just gonna do the hunt, and that is it because. You should have a pretty good close-up of all the, the coins that I find. Uh, I made sure that the camera's focused in really good. And it's nice big images. And I got the wide shot as well. So you should be good. No need to look at them twice, right? Unless you just want to admire the silver and hopefully the buffalo if we find one which would really be awesome or, or V nickel why limit myself how about a shield nickel that'd be amazing I have never found a shield nickel yet I say yet because it will happen it will happen it has to Knowing my luck, the way when I say that, it'll happen the, the very next roll. And then you'll, you guys will be like, fake. Fake. Eight. 
that's usually the way it happens though it seems like so many coincidences in coin roll hunting in in, in my uh in my life so far anyway in my experience another 1939 are you kidding me two 1939s in one box guys that's awesome i, I usually don't find a lot of these lately let's look and see there it is, 1939. Let's see if it's got any double die on the reverse. That would be amazing. Uh, doesn't look like it. You would see it in the, the double L's of Monticello and the words five cents. Uh, it doesn't look like it's doubled. That would be amazing find though. I have found one once. I would love to find it. Oh, look at that. Another, another one right here, 1955. Let's look and let's flip it over. I think we want the the Philadelphia is the one we want. And it's the Denver, of course. You always find the Denver. All right. That one looks kind of funky, like something's going on with his head. Like there's a stripe going through it. I don't know if that's uh, some tape that maybe has been on the coin or if it's uh, the metal. A difference in metal there? I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look at that one. Could be something cool. Just never know. Could be a foreign substance running through there. I don't know. We'll take a peek at it later. That'd be pretty cool to find. I have found a penny that had some uh, metal stamped into it. A giant square piece. Actually, part of the... It was part of the penny. It, uh... There was a lamination peel, and the peel, I believe, is what flipped over and then got stamped back into the into the penny. Oh, is that a, yep, 1952, right there. It's pretty dirty, but it's a 52. Let's see what it is. A little Denver action. 52. We'll go ahead and leave it up there. Got our dirty coins. 64. All right. We have just under two rows left, guys. I'm hoping I can cut this down to 30 minutes. Come on, we need some more silver. I need a buffalo, anything. Please. I feel like I left a, a, a nickel in that roll. These are all new. These are all new. Let me see. No, I guess not. There wasn't another one in there. Just felt like it. Come on. Hit me with something. I need it. So 1960. 64. 80. There's another buffalo, but no spearing. Anything? Boy, these all look pretty new. Plenty of chances here. A lot of chances still. Man, these are all newer, newer coins. A lot of 2019s. Come on.
Another buffalo no spearing. All right, we're getting down to it, guys. Got about 12 or 13 left. Oh, there's a couple darker ones. Maybe a chance for some silver here. Let's take a peek. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they're just dirty. I want to thank everybody for uh, watching videos and uh, supporting the channel. We love it. Love having you guys. Like I said, we should be back on YouTube doing more live streams very, very soon. Probably in the next few days. I'd say probably within, I'd say, oh, the next week or so. And we are looking to do something new on the live streams. We've got some ideas, so make sure you come check it out. And if you want to come check out our stream on Twitch, it's at twitch.tv forward slash half dollar make you holler. We'll be on Twitch for the next week or so until we get back on YouTube and then we'll be committed to YouTube again. And I am ready because it's it was rough, I tell you. It was hard going back and forth. Posting videos on YouTube and streaming on a different site. All right, what is that? Oh, 61, 64, 82. Come on. Just a couple more. There's an 18. Nope, nothing. Got to flip those 18s. All right, we're down to nine rolls. Give me one more something. Nine rolls. Give me something awesome. I want something old. I want something super old, please. How about a 38? We've had two 39s. Give me a 38S. That'd be awesome. Something good condition, too. There's a 54 right there, 1954. It's a little scrapey looking. Looks like somebody stepped on it on the sidewalk. It's got a D on there, Denver Mint. There's something, 64. Not that old. All right. Just a couple more chances here. And then right now it's about uh, midnight here in California. This is the first uh, corn roll hunting I've done today. Just got a 58. Just check and see if there was anything else. Eh, not seeing anything. Let's look at that. 1958, common year. It's a little, a little uh, crunchy looking. It's a Denver. A little bit of a sidewalk coin. Ooh, I hear footsteps. Someone's going in the kitchen, I bet. All right, ooh, there's some uh, worn looking ones right there. I don't know if that's gonna be old. Let's take a look. Ugh, what is that? Looks like it's a 50 something, I can't tell. Nope, 85, I had it backwards. Hmm. Another scraped up one. Five rolls left. Whoops, my nickel got pushed aside. There we go. Well, so far, our silver is the best thing out of this box. 
I was really hoping for a double silver. That would have been so cool. It's a really nice 67, but I don't think that's going to have much for anything on steps. Ooh, let's check that out real quick. Why does that look off-center? I can't tell if it is or not. No, I think it's could be a tiny, tiny bit, but I don't think so. Four more. Buffalo, no spearing. Eighty-seven. All right, three rolls left. Down to the last bit, guys. Oh, I got a dark one. Please let it be silver. No. It's like a 2000 something. Just a dirty one. Oh, we got a, there it is. I told you, 1998 Canadian nickel right there. Let's go ahead and show that. There's our beaver. I knew we'd get one. I knew we would. You always get one, it seems like. There's always got to be one. Now, why can't there always be a buffalo? Oh, back-to-back -back foreigns, guys. What is this? I don't think I've ever got one of these. Five foreign. What is that? Where is that from? Let's take a look at this. I've never got this one before. All right, this one says Agyar Kostarsas. Thing. I, I don't know, guys. That one. That's a new one for me. Not familiar with where that's from. If you guys know, throw it in the comments down below. That's really cool. I like the bird though. Looks like a crane, if I had to guess. So maybe somewhere over in Asia, somewhere. I'm betting. All right, last roll, guys. Wow, we got a couple of four. We got three forms in this box. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be cool if we finished with the silver? And it is not. I think it's a 60-something. Almost like a Black Beauty right there. All right, come on. Come on out of there. All right, guys. I don't know if we got... doesn't look like we got a buffalo anywhere, so... Let's just take a peek. Uh, it's not a Black Beauty. It's too new to be a Black Beauty. All right. That is going to be it. Guys, we got, let's see, let's count these up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen finds. And the best one is this one right here. We got silver. That is so awesome. What did we say that was? A 1945 San Francisco silver wartime nickel. Got a couple of foreigns and one that I've never got before. I think that's so cool to get stuff when uh, we've never got it before. So that's new for me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.